morning guys. Um, so yesterday uh, Tom and I went to the nursery and we picked up some more seedlings to put in our vegetable garden and I'm just going to show you guys what we got. Um, so it's a big tray over here. Um, so we've already got a few seedlings in our garden already. There's also a lot of things we haven't put in yet and some are and I think we have to get these in before it gets too hot. So first one is capsicum bell orange, so it's an orange capsicum, I thought it was pretty interesting. So basically I wanted two capsicum plants, a red one and then a yellow one, but then I came across the orange ones and I thought they were pretty cool. So of course a red capsicum, here you go. So the variety is a capsicum California, Californian wonder. We also got three strawberries, that's because I love strawberries and I wanted a lot of strawberries in the garden so that they could make it to the house before I ate them all. So the first one I have is the strawberry tioga. So I picked this one up for the label that says large fruit. This one is strawberry pink. So this one has pink flowers and I think this is the variety I used to have before I gave it to my dad when I moved. Um, and this one is Strawberry Montana. So I got this one because it has white flowers. I thought a bit of variety in the garden would be good. This one's from my friend. It's a melon. And it's finally big enough to put into the garden. What else? Um, okay, so we also have a chili jalapeno. Um, Tom picked this one out. I guess he likes chilies and jalapenos. So this is going in the garden. I don't know if I can handle it. They're probably going to be really chilly. Um, also we have some basil. So basil I think dies off every year but at least it's the same price as buying basil from the supermarket so you might as well plant it until it dies. Oh, it smells so good. <laughs> and what else? Oh yeah, zucchini seedlings. So there are one, two, three, four, there's four seedlings, five seedlings. Um, I don't think I need that many zucchini plants for two people. A few years ago when I planted zucchini, I think I had two plants and that, that was plenty for a family of four people because the zucchinis grew so big, like they got that big. Maybe double the size of a supermarket zucchini, so I'll probably share those with my parents. And a watermelon punnet. So there are one, two, three, four, five, five seedlings in this one. So again, I think the maximum we need is two plants. Snow, <laughs> snow peas, always call them sweet peas. Snow peas, um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's eight seedlings in here, also quite a few. So maybe we will be sharing those around. So guys, this is just a rough plan of where I'm planning to put everything. As you can see, we're growing a lot of hay. <laughs> And then we've got some sorry, tomatoes here, and then cucumber, borage, good for the bees, um, and some climbers. I think that's cucumber as well. It's getting pretty big. There are beans there, and more beans, and that is the rest of it. It's still looking pretty bare, so there is a lot that we can still fit in. So we just finished planting the basil, the capsicum and the strawberry. There's not enough hay so I'm going to put on some more hay after I'm done. I'm going to move on to the next bed now. So here is the strawberry I just planted and there's the orange bell capsicum. Guys it was 37, maybe 39 degrees today. and. This morning I watered the plants, I drenched them and then I put like an extra 5-10 centimeters worth of hay as mulch on top and tonight when I came to check up on them and give them an evening water they were actually all okay and I like, I dug up um, underneath the hay and the dirt was actually still moist which was incredible so guys mulch actually works. So tomorrow's going to be 43 degrees and I'm super worried my plants are going to cook. So 
He's got a new outfit. It's called Hessian. <laughs> I simply use these bamboo steaks. They're really cheap. I think it was seven dollars for a pack of twenty. Blueberries. Do you think they're ready? Guys, just came back from Canada and the garden looks incredible. Everything's grown so much, it's crazy. And I'm so glad everything's alive because of these shade cloths, I think. Okay, gonna go water it now and inspect it all. So excited. This is literally the first thing I decided to do after coming back home from the airport. I don't know why, I just love it here. Can you see, we have these tomatoes. So excited. And I'm so glad the bagel is alive. Morning, guys. So, yesterday when I was looking, I noticed that this plant had spread out way too much. So, there's a few of these branches here, which I'm going to stake up so that it can be trained to climb up our arches. So, I will be using some twine. I believe this is compostable. So, the plan is just to throw everything in the compost bin. Look how big this. Japanese pumpkin got and this is a jalapeno it's I think it's getting a bit too much sun so I might have to put up some shade that is the zucchini more cucumbers too many cucumbers another cucumber um, over here you can see it's growing baby cucumber in here And this broccolini, I was just having a closer look and it's completely infested with aphids. Can you see those tiny bugs? They're like my worst nightmare. And I Guys, it's officially the first garden harvest. I'm so excited. I'm going to pick some kale for breakfast. Thinking of making marinara pasta for dinner, so I might come back and pick some of that. Guys, breakfast is served. First meal cooking from our garden. It is kale with a side of egg. All right, post heat wave day number one, everything is still alive. I'm so glad. I think the watering really helped. I basically spammed water everywhere. Guys, happy new year. So it is gardening day again. And today I'm gonna be building a worm tower. So I bought two worm towers online. I was too lazy to make my own. Well, actually I just didn't have the tools to make them with. And like, I could only find 10 meters of pipe at a time, which is too much for what we need. So I just bought them. Anyway, and got a bag of a thousand live worms. I made sure they were alive before I bought them. And today I am also going to be planting some plants. So I went shopping again because we forgot to pick up some herbs. So I've got rosemary. Um, is this oregano? Yes, oregano. I didn't have that back at my parents' house. So I don't know what it looks like. There is some sage. Quite a bit of sage. Um, they're mainly for the flowers. They really cook sage that much. It smells good, but um, the flowers bring beneficial insects, which repel the other bugs or eat them. Okay, and there's also beetroot, and also two more watermelon seedlings. Um, I was going to give them away, but nobody wanted them. We've already got two watermelon plants. Um, I think I'll just plant them next to the other ones in case. The other one doesn't survive, like survival of the fittest. <laughs> yeah, so what's to do today? Can't wait to get started. See you guys in the garden. So guys, this is the worm tower that I purchased. Um, it's by Green Life. I got two of them. Um, so basically they're like an in-ground worm farm. So instead of having to transfer the worm juice, worm tea into your garden, you just put the worms in the tower which goes straight in your raised bed and it kind of just goes into, into the garden um, by itself. Um, so guys this is what the worm tower looks like. Um, we're going to bury it up to here and that is the lid so that's where we're going to put our food scraps and all. Um, I'm thinking we should put it here because that's like the only space we have for it. So we just, we just have to dig a hole that deep and then shove it in. 
guys, look at Tom. He did it in like two minutes. So good. It is ready to be filled. Yay. Okay, so first we're gonna put a layer of hay. And then we're gonna give it a bit of water to wet it. Like a bag of worms. There's a thousand of them. And we've got two towers, so we're gonna split them up in half. Oh, so cool. Oh, I missed. It's like meant to be worm eggs and stuff in here too. A bit of hay on top, I think. And then, we need food scraps. Let's give them some kale, I mean some broccoli leaves. Because we don't have any food scraps in the kitchen right now. I don't know if this is the right way to do it, but best time building web tower. We close it off. I think we're done. High five. Mm. So guys, one more thing. Um, I got some more bamboo steaks. So I just got them from Bunnings and I'm gonna use them to create like a trellis steak thing for our tomatoes. Because our tomatoes are huge. So just pick some fresh basil from the garden and I'm gonna be making a uh, why do I never talk whilst videoing? Guys, I was just staking the tomatoes and where is my hand? Oh there it is. I found this little bunch of cherry tomatoes. Guys, I harvested some bok choy from the garden today. Um just a little bit to do a taste test. Be having cucumbers for the rest of the month. And I don't know if you remember seeing him, but a few days ago on Saturday, this zucchini plant was tiny and now it's humongous. I'm actually thinking there's not enough space for it because there are so many tomato plants nearby. And over here, the strawberries are growing. I can't remember if I, if I filmed this orange capsicum last week, but it is getting big and there's two of them. And over here, we have our dead beetroot patch. I think they were too small to plant out. No. Can you guys see what I see? A white butterfly. Guys, this is a rock melon. Um, oh, it's got flowers. It's got flowers, guys. Oh my goodness, we're gonna get fruit. Guys, how funny is this? I literally just found a cucumber berry under the hay. Guys, we're producing cucumbers like hotcakes right now. Um, one of my cucumber plants is producing really bitter cucumbers, but every time I pick them, I never notice where, which plant I pick them from. So today I'm gonna take note. Guys, check this out. I spotted our first pumpkin flowers. They're deep inside here. Guys, so many cucumbers. Check this out. More. 